Swing Face! Sample this. Hi, this is Randy from Big Swing Face. Today, we are going to talk about our tenor trombone and the basic playing techniques we can use to create a realistic part. First, the instrument is monophonic, just like a real trombone. This makes possible the note transitions and phrasing of a true wind instrument. It will also encourage us to work out our parts in a linear way, like a real horn section. This will improve realism. If you do wish to play chords on your keyboard, there's an included poly version of the instrument. This might be useful in sketching out parts or for live performance, but by nature it will be less realistic. When you play notes separately, you will hear the articulation selected at the top of the interface. If, however, you overlap two notes, a legato layer will be selected. These are real samples of slurred notes and will allow realistic melodic playing. The legato programming also allows trills by triggering notes on key releases, like a monophonic analog synthesizer. These trills are less natural to trombone, but you can use them to simulate a valved instrument. Now, let's look at how we control volume and tone with this instrument. In order to address the issue of playing a wind instrument with a keyboard, we developed a hybrid system using key velocity and a controller pedal. As I move the pedal, you will see the pressure gauge at the bottom of the interface. Now, velocity gives us intuitive control of attacks and attack dynamics. Velocity, however, doesn't allow us to change the sound after the attack. In this instrument, a pedal transmitting MIDI controller number 11, which is expression, is used to shape the sustain. This allows different note envelopes. High velocity with pedal at minimum gives us an accented note that drops back. If I play those same notes with the pedal up, we get a strong, flat sustain. We can even shape the note with swells and fades after we play it. Now, let's explore the different articulations available here. They can be selected using the buttons on the interface, but using the assigned left-hand selector keys on your keyboard will be easier, and these low notes will be recorded in your sequencer. You can also enter and edit the selectors after a performance to fine-tune your lines. The first articulation is called Air Start and has a soft attack. This is good for mellow lines and soft passages. The next articulation is tongued, meaning a moderate attack. This is probably the best all-purpose articulation for playing ensemble lines and smooth melodies. The next articulation is called accent. And this has a stronger, more pronounced attack. It works well for animated lines and solos. You should be able to play faster, but just remember to think about what's possible on the real instrument. The fourth articulation is staccato. This is not controlled by the pedal since it doesn't have any sustain. This layer features four-way round robin rotation for repeated notes. Good for those wedding gigs. There are two swell settings with real recorded swells. Long swell is exactly twice the length of the short one. There is a speed control which shortens the swells as you turn the knob to the right. Careful programming allows the, this change without distorting the attack.
Velocity controls the attack of the swells, though not as dramatically as in the other articulations, and pedal sets the intensity of the end of the swell. This allows a lot of different kinds of swells. Finally, there's the lip trill. These are looped to sustain as long as you like, although it's realistic to keep them kind of short. This is the only momentary articulation, meaning that when I let go of the trigger key, it reverts to the previously selected articulation. covers all the articulations. Next time we'll talk about using release control, vibrato, and pitch control to make your performances even more realistic. Thanks for watching.